I'm Sheep, and welcome to an Ask Not Pocket. An Ask Not Pocket is, of course, what happens when you promise people that the next week will be an Ask Not Pocket. Nailed it. Yeah. Cool. A first ask. Yep. Our first ask comes from Nick Reeves. When will the ABC start paying you, Doctor? Most likely once I get a copyright-free name. I mean, right now I've got Doctor and Who, and they're a bit too close, but I've separated them. But it's still not enough, and my alternative is Wilbo, and that's like a Hobbit or a pleasure device. Now, next up is David. David Mazzal asks, Where'd you get that sick Marty McFly shirt? Sick. It was one of those 24-hour shirt sale things, but the 24 hours is over because it was back when Doc and Marty were supposed to be here, but they obviously weren't because 2016 went to shit. And I managed to find a link, so David, pop down in the description and you'll be able to get one of these, not this one, one of those Marty McFly shirts, one of the ones in the overlay right now. Next is Darren with a retro query. What is your top five DOS games, and can you play through a number one? Well, I was barely a fetus when DOS games stopped happening, so I couldn't really do a top five, but games I do remember was the uh, the hardly amazing Spider-Man game, which was like a platformer, and also the Last Crusade plot thing, but then stretched out into a point-and-click adventure thing. But you're old, Josh. Yeah. First up, my honourable mentions would be GTA, the original Doom, Wolfenstein, SimCity 2000, the original Need for Speed, DuckTales, and Dangerous Dave. But my top five of all time, from five to one, would be Duke Nukem 3D, Captain Comic, Jetpack, Jill of the Jungle, which my mum always said my dad liked because when she went up the little ropes and stuff you could see all like four pixels of her butt. And my number one DOS game of all time, and probably still one of my favourite games ever, would be the Commander Keen series. I know that's not a game, but the series was amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure we played like all of them. I think we had all of them. But right now, you can't get all of them. Like, you can't... Oh. You, when you buy it on Steam, the collection, you can only get the ones that you can get ROMs of. Yeah, right. And uh, like emulated versions. You can't get the whole the series. Collection. No okay, one not. has it. Oh. Not even Steam. And they're selling the Commander Keen collection. But not even they have all of them. Where did they go? They've got like three foreign Keen Dreams or something. Right. Like, not the first ones. No, not like, there's very few. There was like six or seven games in total. They're just gone. <laughs> Weird! I know, right? That's not okay! I know! Oh no! It's like, it's very disappointing and I don't know whether we still have the original disc. Yeah, right. the original floppies were about this big. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we had them on. Yeah, but you don't know. Got it. I don't think we have those sized floppies anymore. So a playthrough might not be possible, but we'll let you know in a year's time when they go off the air again. Where they, I mean, of course, pocket. Up next is... Brandon! Poses a terrifying question, like that voice just then. Terrifying. Brandon Branch asks, What's your favourite thing of the day that you didn't do? Oh, Brandon, this is a hard one, because there's been so many good things this year, and I know the two that I'm picking have been in the top five, so it's a bit of a cop-out because it's easy to remember these ones, but my number one would be the Explosion Fire I-5 one. I just love the way the hair and, and everything just, it's perfectly mapped where all the fire goes. You know what would have been a good idea is looking up who did that one, but it's on the screen right now. Simple, but effective. But my number two is also in the top five, so it's not too surprising, but uh, it's Merce's first one with the, the nipples. River! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What about you, Josh? That would also be my favourite. Uh, when, I, when I think of things of the day that aren't yours, I just immediately think of that first Murph one. Um, all of his are great, they just keep getting weirder and more bizarre. And I'm starting to not be sure how I feel about no. it. <laughs> that first one, oh. mint. Oh! Great. Oh! <laughs> oh! Absolutely mint. Good job, Murph. Who's up next, Josh? Gaxon. Gaxon? Gaxon has a question for us. Where do you two stand on Metal Gear? Neither of us have any involvement in the franchise, like we haven't played any of the games. We've looked at them with our eyes, but we've not played them. I've watched the Kurt Russell, John Carpenter, I think it's John, it's probably not. I've watched those films, um, Escape from New York and Escape from LA. He hasn't watched them. I don't know how much of it's been shoved into the games, but I like the films. I like Snake. I don't know if you still like Snake in the film, in the games. He's not the same in those two things. Next up, Emerson. 
We want to play the games, is what I was getting We at. do, yes, yes. But next up, we want to answer Emerson's question, right? Emerson! Before we play games. Hey. Your thoughts on queer characters and LGB representation in games? I tried to make that a question, but it was actually just a statement. Mm, you just put in that little mark at the end. I tried. Yeah, right. That's more of a talk through topic, and it's really not where we go. We're not very political-minded people. We're just like, hey, developers, if your character needs to be in that vein, go for it. If your world needs to be populated with people who of, of a device, device range, diverse range. All of them could be using iPhones, that's fine. I'm more worried about if they're all different and individual people. Yeah. So if you need to do that, do that, please, because that's how the world is now. But we're not too fussed if all of our games have white dudes. But we're also not fussed if all of them star Genoso, and I've removed that fi figure from over there. That's unfortunately timed. Uh, if all of them star Princess Leia. There you go. That'd work, or, or Big Fortuna. You could sub Bib Fortuna and I'd be cool. We're diverging from the question. It's Basically, fine. all people are lovely. Put them in the games, developers. Yeah. As long as the game's good, we'll play it. We're yeah. happy for that. Whatevs. Oh my gosh, so much is falling down. Who's up next? Shit! Oh, that's why we didn't remember. Malamba 319. That's we were why. not going to remember that. No, that was never going to get there. Why. You guys are the masters of mimicry, and the not pocket entries are very much appreciated when pocket is not running. I was wondering if you had any plans to create your own show, Zer, with a unique idea to run each week. Well, we don't want to blow our own harmonica. <laughs> This is not a harmonica. But we do have our own channel, Nerdcast, which we basically never upload nerdy content to. But we should. We should. We should do that more. Mm. We should. We parody Star Wars, though, so that's alright. That's pretty cool. I also have a channel dedicated to Doctor Who, and it's called The Doctor of Who, funnily enough. But that is it! That's it for Not Pocket Arcs, and possibly for Not Pocket if they're not back next week. I'll be back next week on Friday for another wrap up. But that'll be it. No after show thing like this little chill, relax. seem to be over sex. Get it? Cause... Oh, you probably don't get it. You have to hear the, the news article first. Hang on. Over on Reddit, the Overwatch subreddit has just passed 770,000 subs, whilst the sex subreddit has 689,000 subs. 